The Lordstown Police Association is kicking off a fundraising campaign to raise money for a police canine. The department says with the I-80 corridor, corridor and increased business presence, the move makes sense. Janet Rogers has more on how you can help and why the unit is so desperately needed. This demonstration shows some of the contributions a canine officer can add to a police department. Sniffing out illegal drugs that lead to death and Lordstown police say those skills will be helpful on traffic stops since Interstate 80 is a convenient route for drug traffickers. We're kind of centralized. Um, they're going to be passing through to go to Warren. Um, we get people from Youngstown Campbell. We get people from out of state, New Jersey, New York, Miami. Um, and they're bringing trafficking drugs or doing other legal activities. But the canines do more than take a bite out of crime. A dual trained dog can be instrumental in searches and rescues. Locate um, lost or missing persons. With increasing business, if there's an alarm drop, the canine partner can be sent inside, which can be instrumental in saving police officers' lives. The department needs $25,000 to pay for the dog, special training for the canine officer, and cruiser requirements for the canine. Anyone who wants to make a donation can stop by the Lordstown Police Department 24-7, seven days a week, and drop off your check here at the dispatch window. Checks should be made out to the Lordstown Police Association, a nonprofit organization. In the memo, put canine unit. You can also mail checks to the Lordstown Police Department. With more local news, I'm Janet Rogers.